Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this beautiful ring. I have two different color ways to show you how you can really pump up the colors, make it bright, bold, or you can stay in the neutral zone, whatever you're comfortable with. My whole inspiration was a song actually. It was called, it's called Lift Off. And besides beating and reading books, I absolutely love music, all different types of music. and. Um, that's where the inspiration came from. I wanted to lift off of this base and then graduate down in size and make it as high as I could. And I added a beautiful pearl into the center and I really played with the colors on these. They're bright, they're fun and bold. And I can't say enough good things about this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in because we got a bunch of materials and things to cover. It looks like a lot, but we only need a little bit of each. So you're gonna need four six millimeter fire polish. Then you're gonna need two different colored four millimeter fire polish beads, and then just four little tiny three millimeter fire polish. Two different colored size 15s. I got the turquoise and this beautiful saffron, and then some size 11s and whatever you want to add in the center. A six millimeter round, it can be a beautiful Swarovski pearl or a druck or a gemstone, whatever you wanna use, that's up to you. And I'm gonna leave this pile set here because at the end, I know I'll probably change my mind if I pick one color, but I wanna see what's really gonna pop in the center. That's the whole purpose of you know, me making this ring. I wanted to make that just jump out. All right, so we're gonna be using our fire line, eight pound test, size 11 beading needle, scissors or a thread burner. And we're gonna go ahead and pull one and a half yards of thread. And we're gonna start with the largest beads first. So we're gonna pick up an 11 and a six millimeter fire polish. And we're gonna repeat this four times. So we have four of each. And then we're gonna drop our work down. Make sure the pattern's correct. We want four seed beads and four of the others. Slide it down and leave a small tail. We're gonna pick up our work, tie a knot, and let it catch, and then pull really hard. And then I'm gonna attach another needle to the tail and we're coming out right now of a fire polish. So we're just gonna weave away. And right here, I'm gonna throw in just another tiny knot right there and weave away and burn that little end off or cut whatever you have. Okay, now it's still a little too loose. You can feel everything moving around. So we're just gonna simply reinforce it by going through all the beads again. One full rotation, that's all we need to do. Once you've done that, we're gonna step out of an 11. Okay, and I'm right here. And then I'm gonna pick up three 15s, a four millimeter fire polish, and three 15s. I'm gonna skip that next six millimeter and go right into the 11 after that. That's your repeat. Three 15s, a four millimeter, and three 15s. Skip that large one, go into that 11. All the way around. So we have two more sets to do. So here's our last set. Go through that 11. I'm gonna make sure my count is on point there. And now everything is loose. Everything is showing too much thread. So that just means we have to go run around and reinforce everything. So we're gonna go down these three into the 11, pull up these three, over. Down, just retracing everything we did 
going through a couple at a time though and pulling so that you can feel it definitely getting secure as you're working. Okay, almost there. And I can feel it definitely tightening up. I don't know whose dog that is, but it's terrible. It's too cold for the dog to be outside. It's so sad. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna exit this four millimeter right here. And now we're gonna bring it up. So we're gonna grab our tiny little three millimeter fire polish beads and we're gonna put one into each of the next four millimeter beads and we're gonna pull. So put it in and pull all the way around. We're just making a little opening to add our pearl and that's it. So once you have them all added in, we're gonna again run through just the threes and the fours until there's no thread showing, pulling nice and tight, just like this. And I think I'm good. And once you feel there's no thread showing, which I am gonna go through just two more, right here. And I'm gonna exit that three millimeter fire polish. And now it's time to, to decide which color I wanna add in the center that's really gonna make it pop. So, hmm. I think that red might look pretty because I'm going to use those beautiful, beautiful, bold orange colors now. But first we're going to attach this bead. So we're coming out of this three millimeter in this direction. You want to find the three millimeter that's right across with your six millimeter on and go right through in this direction. And I'll go down on zoom a little bit. just like this. So we're coming out this way, so we're gonna go right through the bead in this direction. And I'll try to leave it down so you can see, but it always gets snagged. And then I'm gonna turn. I haven't pushed it in yet, just so you can see, but you will pull like this and you'll pop it in with your thumb. Pop it down in there. But I'm gonna lift it up a little so you can see. Okay, so now I'm coming out of the fire polish now in this direction, this way. I'm gonna go back through that pearl. And now I'm gonna put my thumb over it. And I know, see how my thread is coming into the bead in this way? I know I'm gonna pick it up this way now. Come around and go back through that fire polish in this direction. And that way it just centers it. And now we can give it a good pull and I'm just gonna weave through this four millimeter and one more three millimeter. And here we're gonna add a pop of beautiful color. So I'm gonna pick up three 15s of a different color, skip that four millimeter and go right into that three millimeter. Now we have to use our thumb and keep those new bright orange ones pulled really, really close and forward. And we'll repeat that all the way around. So it's three into the next little three millimeter. So we're just skipping that four millimeter fire polish bead. We'll do that all the way around. Pull. Oh, I love that. Excellent. At first I thought it was gonna to be too much red on red, but if you get really close in there, this one has flecks of blue. It's a druck bead I got a long time ago and I had it left over from, from one of my projects. And like I said, that's what I do. I love using up leftover projects. So there you go. That highlights it so much. Look how pretty that looks. Now, of course, with me, I'm gonna reinforce again. So just go through everything you just did. 315s, the three millimeter, and you take your time at home because I don't want you to break a bead, or slip, or anything like that. But I am gonna just go and weave out. I'm gonna pretend I already reinforced. I'll go back and do that later. I 
right? So once you've gone, you know, up, down, and around, you're gonna weave down these three fifteens, poke out that beautiful size 11 right here on the edge. Now we're gonna begin the band. So we're gonna pick up a four millimeter fire polish, two 11s, and then one four millimeter fire polish. So I'm coming out of the 11 in this direction, I'm just gonna come around and go right back through that 11. Just the 11. Pull, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna retrace this whole thing because this is our band. We definitely wanna make sure, uh, just lost my needle. Uh, you wanna make sure because that is the joint that it is very, very, very secure. And that's the only thing my board is continuously snagging my thread and it slows me down a little bit, so I apologize for that. I'm gonna go back down and around one more time and things are flying everywhere. Okay, now it's nice, perfect. I'm gonna go up through the four millimeter and one 11. We're preparing to do the herringbone, which I use constantly, as you can see. It's one of my favorite stitches because it is very, very, very solid and durable. So now we're just gonna pick up two 11s. We're gonna go down one. So we're coming at this stack. We're just gonna go down this one and pull. And I'm gonna just kind of make sure they lay like this and then go right back up in this new stack. Pick up two, down one, and we'll repeat that all the way down for the entire length of the ring that you want. And you know what finger you wanna put it on, which I wear it on the ring finger because it's just cute and it looks really nice there, but you can wear it wherever you want Okay, so that's all there is to that. It's nothing impressive or <laughs> fun to watch, so that's why I already have one pre-made. So you keep going. And now I'm gonna switch over to one that I have in progress. I'm gonna clean up a little bit of this mess. I'm just gonna move stuff to the side. So to end, all you're going to do, you're going to need your last two fire polish. Move that over. And now I'm going to flip my work over. So we're working like this. I'm going to pick up one four millimeter fire polish. Now I know I need to attach it to this 11. See, we're right across from it. So I know I need to go into this 11 directly across. So I'm coming out of this side of the 11s. I'm gonna come down this 11. Kind of keep my finger there. I'm gonna keep it very loose to show you. Pick up our last four millimeter fire polish and then go down into the band. And I go down about three beads. So I went down three beads. I know I'm gonna go up three beads. Otherwise, if we try to go over and cut, thread's gonna show. So we definitely don't want that. And then we'll reinforce this whole beautiful ring. I love these colors. I know they're so funky and loud, but I just fell in love. All right, so the reason that I had you pull so much thread, I got a little knot or something here. There we go, is because once you've gone and added this base, we're gonna just run back down the fire polish and into the band all the way down. And sometimes I can get lucky and go through several at once, which I love. We're just weaving on one side all the way over. And I'm really taking my time today because I don't wanna slip and stab myself that happens way too much. Okay, right here, we're on the other side. It's 
stop right here. So we're poking out of this beautiful um, fire polish. And I told you, you could either do two colors or one. So I'm just gonna show you with two colors, why not? Because this is already a fun one. We're gonna pick up four 15s now, and this is just an additional little dress up, just something extra. So four 15s, stepping out of this four millimeter, we're gonna run right through this four millimeter, straight across through that three, little tiny three millimeter and I almost did it, and right into that four. So now we're on the other side. We just went straight across using our fire polish. Now I'm gonna pick up four more and see how pretty that looks. It just gives it a little something extra and I actually like that color with that. Sorry, I get distracted. Okay, four 15s, and now we're coming out of this four millimeter. We're just gonna jump right down through that one. Give it a good pull. And run now all the way down these beads and straighten that band out. So if you're wondering why I had you pull so much thread, that's why. Because we're getting two things done at once, which is what I like too. We're adding our beautiful decoration. And we're also stabilizing everything. All right. And then one more time, turn and go right back down. You know I'm concentrating if I'm quiet. Oh my goodness. Okay, all the way down. And then the band is gonna be beautifully, beautifully straight. And now we'll dress up this side. So we're popping out of that four millimeter right here. And we know we need to go into that strawberry colored one. So we're gonna pick up four 15s from here. We're gonna jump right through here. And I do this one at a time. So I'll go through that four millimeter, then the three, and then the four, just because I don't want to stress anything out if it's too tight in there. I don't want to try to crank through them all. Here's our last four. This time we're just going to weave down into that fire polish. And I'm going to show you how I end it. Right back up the next one. Back down. I'm gonna hide a tiny, tiny little knot in here in this thread space. You can hear it pop right into that space I wanted it to. And then up and away. And we're ready to burn and I cannot wait to see how this colorway came out. Cause sometimes it's fun to just let loose and go with colors you normally wouldn't use, especially for me, because I get stuck in the same, you know, when I'm not beating on camera, it's always blacks or browns or very kind of <laughs> boring colors. So that looks beautiful. See what that extra just touch does to it and it brightens up that whole ring. Just the pinks and the blues and the greens. I love this so much. I hope you guys have so much fun making this ring. That one's a little too small. But they are so pretty. They whip up really quick and you can use all leftover beads. And again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this ring. Take care and I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.